Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. My name is Husna. So today we will continue the lecture on chapter 4, Biological Molecules. So our topic for today is lipid. So here in this subtopic, we will be looking into physical, chemical and also the physiological roles of uh, lipid. Here are some general properties of lipid compounds. So lipid is made up mostly of hydrocarbon chains. So they tend to be hydrophobic, meaning here they have the tendency to repel water molecules. Next, uh, lipid is not considered a polymer because they do not contain monomers. So if you could recall what polymer is from your previous lesson, uh, polymer is actually large molecules that is made up from repeating subunits. The next properties of lipid compounds is they are insoluble in water but they are soluble in organic solvent such as alcohol, benzene, ether and chloroform and also other non-polar solvent. So lipid compound is quite greasy or oily compounds. So there are four major classes of lipids uh, as you can see here. Uh, the first one is triacylglycerol or also known as triglycerides. So they are made up of glycerol and three fatty acids. Uh, examples are such as fat and oils. Next one is phospholipids. So these are the main components of our cell membrane. And then we have steroids. Uh, examples such as cholesterol and testosterone hormone. And the last one is waxes. Uh, these are uh, some examples are such as cuticles that cover the leaf of plant. Next, we look at the biological importance of lipid compounds. So lipid compounds are highly reserved energy storage because they could yield double the energy as the carbohydrate does when uh, metabolized. Apart from that, lipid compounds can also act as cushion for internal organs uh, from the external shock. In plant, uh, lipid compounds can function as protective cuticles uh, for covering plants to reduce the loss of water uh, during transpiration. And lipid compounds can also be the insulator of heat and also one of the component for plasma membrane. And lipid compounds can also function in transporting fat soluble vitamins uh, which are the vitamin A, D and also K. So there are also some research indicating that lipid emulsion uh, may benefit our immune system. Now we move to the major classes of lipids. So as I've mentioned just now, we have four classes, triglycerides, phospholipid, steroids and waxes. So the first one here is triglyceride, uh, where it consists of glycerol and three fatty acids. So glycerol is a 3-carbon skeleton with a hydroxyl group attached to each carbon. While fatty acid is a long unbranched hydrocarbon chain with carboxyl group at one end. So to produce one triglyceride, uh, we need one molecule of glycerol with 3 fatty acids. These two types of mo molecule will undergo condensation process or dehydration process in order to produce it. So the diagram here shows the condensation or dehydration process in order to produce triglyceride molecules. We have one molecule of glycerol and three molecules of fatty acids that involve in the process. So during the process, three molecules of water are being removed and glycerol and fatty acids are being linked by ester linkage. So here is also another diagram to show the same process. So you can refer to this diagram as well.
Triglyceride may known as fat or oil depending on their condition at room temperature. If the triglycerides are solid at room temperature, so they are known as fat. And if the triglycerides are liquid at room temperature, so they are called oil. Here are some of many functions of triglyceride. Uh, they can function as pool of storage energy. For example, in oil bearing plants, uh, they store triglyceride in seeds. While in animal, they store triglyceride or lipid in adipose tissue. And it can also function as basic components of natural fats and as insulator in human and animal body. Fatty acid chain in triglyceride may differ in length and degree of saturation. So if a fatty acid has straight tail and only single bond with adjacent carbon, it is said to be a saturated fatty acid. Saturated here means the molecule is saturated with hydrogen atom. So it has tight packing with each other, hence it has high melting point and becomes solid at room temperature. For example here, uh, fat and butter. Another type of uh, fatty acid in triglyceride is unsaturated fatty acid. This type of fatty acid has fewer hydrogen atoms with one or more adjacent pairs of carbon atoms joined by double bond. So this double bond will cause king in the triglyceride structure. So if the fatty acid has one double bond, it is called monounsaturated fatty acid. While if it, if it has more than one double bond, so it is called polyunsaturated fatty acid. Okay, this type of fatty acid is at liquid form uh, at room temperature with low melting point. So example, uh, fat that comes from plant and fish such as olive oil. So next is phospholipid. So phospholipid consists of two fatty acid tails and glycerol attached to a phosphate group. So these phospholipid are the specialized lipid arranged as bilayer at cell surface. They are amphipathic molecules which have hydrophobic and hydrophilic parts. So the hydrophobic parts is the fatty acid tails while the hydrophilic parts is the glycerol and phosphate parts. So on top of this phosphate group, they may be additional group or also known as modifier. For example, uh, serine and choline. So this different type of modifier may give different properties and growth in a cell. So here are some uh, importance uh, of phospholipid in living organism. Beside being the, com the basic components of cell membrane, uh, phospholipid is the boundary between the cell and its external. So it acts as permeability barrier. So the exchange uh, across this membrane are very limited and uh, slow. So steroids are another class of lipid molecules. Uh, they are identified by the four fused ring here. So although they uh, don't have the typical lipid structure, they are still being categorized as lipid due to its uh, hydrophobic and insolubility in water properties. So there are various types of steroids uh, due to the various functional group attached to the ring. For example, as you can see here, we have cholesterol and sex hormone which are estrogen and testosterone. Okay, similar to other types of lipid, steroid also plays important roles in living organisms' physiology. As we can see here, for example, uh, cholesterol. So, it is the essential component of animal cells' membrane. Cholesterol is also the major component of myelin sheath in the brain and acts as precursor for the synthesis of other steroids. Another type of steroid is the hormone testosterone, which is the male sex hormone. So this hormone functions to stimulate the sperm formation and promote development of male duct, in, uh, male duct system in the fetus. 
Testosterone also responsible for the secondary sex uh, characteristic in men. Okay, for your information, uh, steroid can be produced artificially. So, there has been cases where steroid are being misused in sports and health field. For example, here, uh, one of the artificial produced steroid is anabolic steroid. So, this drug uh, mimics the testosterone effect. So, specifically, athletes such as sprinter and swimmer will take it to build their muscle and enhance their physical fitness. However, this uh, artificial steroid comes with side effects such as infertility in male uh, and it also can cause renal failure. So apart from that, it can affect uh, mood and sometimes it can cause um, the person who take it become more aggressive. Okay, the last class of lipid is waxes. So, it is structurally a long fatty acid connected to alcohol by ester linkages. So, waxes is insoluble in water and difficult to hydrolyze. Waxes are synthesized by animals and plants and they are found as protective waterproof coating on leaf, stem, fruits, animal fur and also integuments of insects.